Hi everyone, hello, welcome back to the Wandering Art Historian YouTube channel. My name is Adrian Lee, you know me as the Wandering Art Historian. We're in the midst of a really super fun and delicious web series, Art Snacks, Art Snacks. Um, what will we be chatting about today? Oh yes, okay, so in a previous video, you may recall we had a little discussion of the artist Marcel Duchamp and his artwork, The Fountain. Do you remember that? Mm-hmm. Well, did you know that the great Marcel Duchamp and my art historical crush <laughs> was also a champion chess player? Yeah, that's real. Okay, so look at this painting. Now I showed you an art object that Marcel Duchamp submitted to an art exhibition. Um, he was very sneaky, a little snarky, and he was trying to test the boundaries. Hey, okay, how? what is experimentation with an artist? And who decides what artwork is? Is it the artist or is it the judge? Okay, right, that kind of thing. But this is a painting of his from 1911. And at first glance, you might be able to assign it to a specific art movement. I like to call those art movements of the early 20th century the infamous isms, because there are so many of them and they tend to end with ism left and right. Okay, so if you had to choose one of those infamous isms to put this painting into that specific category, which one would you choose? If you said cubism, you would be correct. Marcel Duchamp uh, experimented with cubism um, in his early work before he was making his ready-mades. Um, and in this particular painting, we actually see some chess players. If Can you see the heads and the chess pieces? Keep looking. It's almost like a magic eye, right? The longer you look at it, uh, eventually the image becomes clear. Yeah. Okay, so Marcel Duchamp represented the country of France at four chess Olympiads and was uh, oh, was awarded the title Champion of Paris in 1932, so that's pretty good. International chess master Edward Lasker wrote about Marcel Duchamp that he, quote, was a marvelous opponent. He would always take risks in order to play a beautiful game rather than be cautious and brutal to win, which I think is really interesting because I think Marcel Duchamp applies some of those techniques to his artwork. It's not about winning, it's about playing a beautiful game. Oh, don't you, ah, oh, this is why I have such a crush. Um, eventually, Marcel Duchamp gives up the art making process, and generally speaking, he always comes back to it in some way, but for the most part, he kind of takes a step back to focus on chess. Like what he does is he starts writing theories on gameplay. Wow, intense, right. But he also takes a kind of behind the scenes role in the art world and he helps other artists with their exhibitions and what have you. So he's kind of always there. I love this quote from Marcel Duchamp. All artists are not chess players, but all chess players are artists. Chef's kiss. I love it. Thank you for joining me for this very special art snack. I hope you learned something um, unexpected today. In the meantime, before the next art snack, check out the blog. Okay, there's all kinds of wonderful information there. WanderingArtHistorian.wordpress.com. Hit the like button. Leave me a comment, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. You know the drill. Thank you so much for coming and having an art snack with me and just chatting about art. I love it. I hope you, hope you love it. My name is Adrienne Lee. You know me as the Wandering Art Historian. I'll see you next time. Bye.